to cardiac arrhythmias and obesity research lab. I'm Kedar Aras, assistant professor in the Department of Physiology and Biophysics in the Jacobs School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences at University at Buffalo. For this episode, I wanted to share my perspective on the preparations needed for a successful campus visit. Now, you got that email and you have sent that email confirming the dates. So now the clock is ticking. You have maybe one or two weeks to get ready. How do you maximize that time? Well, if you get access to the itinerary of your campus visit, that would be a great start because then you'll have a list of people that you know for sure you're going to meet. But if not, that's okay. Make a list of all the faculty members in the department and create a small synopsis of their research uh, so that if you end up meeting them one-on-one, -on -one, you can at least have a couple of interesting questions to ask about the research. And beyond just sharing information about your own research, uh, maybe discuss potential for collaboration. And even if that doesn't happen, the fact that you went through this process will give you a sense of confidence. And if you end up meeting them and they see that you have done your due diligence, uh, will show that you have a serious interest uh, in this process. And that will leave a favorable impression. When you meet with students uh, at lunch, ask them about uh, what kind of uh, environment uh, they have at the university, uh, if they have enjoyed their classes, their research in the labs, and they may ask you some of the same things and get their sense of what makes a successful lab and what they would like to see uh, changed or enhanced in the department relative to research, relative to the courses, and anything else they may want to share. And sometimes uh, you may end up meeting some of the higher ups, uh, like the VP of research, or the dean. And if that's the case, beyond just sharing uh, information about your research, you may want to get a sense of uh, the strategic vision or the research initiative that may be part of the department or the university's focus. And if you can show how your research aligns with that strategic initiative, that will also create a good impression. And finally, as you prepare questions to ask, also be prepared to answer questions. So one of the questions they could ask, and this, this is probably a normal part of the question answer process is, they would like to know how well can you establish your lab at the department at the university in terms of whether you have adequate infrastructure uh, to become successful. Now, in order to be able to answer that question, you need to know a list of core facilities that are already available on campus. Now, there may be a few facilities that you need that may not be on campus. And that's okay because in this age, day and age, you can always establish collaborations off campus and help uh, do the research through collaborations. But you need to know what's on campus and what's not. And you don't wanna be caught uh, off guard uh, by saying, oh, I'll have this available and this done. And they say, well, we don't have this facility on campus. What are you gonna do? Uh, so have that entire pipeline and the whole process in your head fleshed out in terms of what it's going to take to successfully set up your lab in terms of infrastructure and how you're going to going to how are you going to accomplish that at the university uh, that you're visiting uh, so that is probably the brief summary of the kind of preparation uh, that i would suggest you do prior to your campus visit now we'll talk uh, a little more about the one-on-one -on -one faculty meetings in, uh, in detail and some of the other questions to ask and answer or be prepared to answer uh, in the next episode. So, uh,